Are you unsure of the differences between a finance and a management accountant? Well, today I've got 10 differences for you. Let's get it. In it, number one, we have got the focus of the financial accountant and the management accountant. Ultimately, the financial accountant will be producing financial statements such as the balance sheet and the profit and loss account. On the other hand, management accountants will be providing management accounts or data analysis or information about customers or competitor analysis that will enable the directors of that business or managers of that business to make decisions to impact the success of that business. In at number two, we have the time frame. A financial accountant will be producing financial statements on the past performance of that business. Management accountants will be providing information, analysis, to help impact the future running of that business, to make decisions that will in the future positively impact that business. So it's important here that you understand the different timeframes that either role are looking at. In at number three, and we have reporting. As I mentioned earlier in this video, financial accountants will be preparing financial statements. Notably, the balance sheet, the PL, the cash flow statement, and the changes in equity. The management accountant will be providing internal financial reports and analysis to internal stakeholders such as managers and directors of that business. The financial statements are used by external stakeholders to understand the financial health of that business. The directors and managers will use the data from the management accountant to make decisions for that business. In at number four, we have compliance. Now, of course, as you would expect, the accountancy industry is heavily regulated. Therefore, when financial accountants are preparing financial statements, they need to comply with the regulations in order to do so. An example of this, and one of the most commonly used, is the Sarbanes-Oxley Accountancy Regulatory Standards over in the US. Management accountants, on the other hand, because they aren't producing information to external stakeholders, have no accountancy standards to comply with. In at number five, we touch on the difference between the objective and subjective landscape. Financial accountant will need to be objective within the reports that they produce. On the other hand, because of the nature of making decisions, the management accountant has more free reign to use subjective analysis in order to essentially provide a guidance to the managers or directors of their business. One is heavily rules-based, the other one has the far more free will to kind of act and how they want to act. In at number six, we have the audience difference of the two roles. Investors, regulators, and creditors will be interested in the financial statements of the business. These are external stakeholders. The internal audience of a management accountant role will consist of directors, managers, different internal teams within that organization who you are trying to extract value for. In at number seven, we have the time horizon. As I touched on earlier, financial statements are always prepared in the past for the last year. A management accountant will be providing data and analytics that could be short term, medium term, or even long term. They will be looking at results now on thinking what decisions can we make that will drive the medium and long term growth of that business. On the contrast, you may be working on a strategic plan that covers the next five years and what moves are you gonna make in order to grow your business? The time frame on the management accountancy role is far more flexible than that of a financial accountant, which will always just be looking at your previous year's performance. In at number eight, we have data sources. A financial accountant will prepare the financial statements based on the financial system transactions that are within that system. They have one data source. A management accountant will have far more opportunities to use different data sources. So they might use their internal accountancy system. They might use a data analytics tool. They might then have availability to use a category projection plan for the next five years and extract value from that category to understand how that might impact your business. You will have far more open access to different data sources in order to derive the message that you want to deliver upwards into that organization. In at number nine, we have the goal of each of the roles. A financial accountant's goal is to provide an accurate picture of the finances of that business. The goal of a management accountant is to provide insights to the managers and directors of that business to correlate to a successful performance by making the right decisions for that business. And in at number 10, we've got the scope of each role. A financial accountant will prepare financial statements for 
the whole business. A management accountant will probably be responsible for a select portion of that business. So for example, in my instance, I am a finance business partner. I am heading up one sub-channel of our business and I am purely working on that particular sub-channel. I'm developing my expertise, my knowledge, my industry knowledge of that industry or that sub-channel and then I'm using that to positively impact the performance of this commercial team. Now, I hope for those of you that were unclear on the differences of a finance and management accountant, you understand the differences of each. If you have any questions, please do let me know down below. But aside from that, that is all from me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.